Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Wait, I um normally try to start the streams within like, I don't know, like maybe two to three minutes of um like hitting the, the start streaming button. But then I realized that uh, I had gone through too much tea. I thought I still had some left, but I didn't. <laughs> So I had to go and brew some more. So thank you. Thank you all for waiting while I was getting that ready. Give me one second. Let me get our fun ambiance going. There we go. You can hear the sound of the waves now. Oh, my word. But yeah, I hope you folks are doing well. Um, It's been kind of a um, kind of a crazy last two days. Um, I had considered just maybe canceling the stream um because akira toriyama died and uh it's been <sighs> i think it's been rough for a lot of folks he was um a really important part of like not just uh the the manga community but like the anime and gaming community and uh it's been pretty it's been pretty heavy because of that, but I, I don't know, a philosophy that I have with this channel is that I want it to be a place where you can hang out, you can unwind, that you can like take a break from the broader world. Um, and so I thought that it would still be good to, to hang out and stream with you folks. Um, so yeah, <laughs> rest in power indeed. <laughs> oh God. Um, so yeah, uh, regardless of like where you folks are at, I figured it would just be nice to hang out. We can play Dredge. Dredge is fantastic. It's, <laughs> it's really chill. Um, it's kind of like a perfect game for all of this. So we'll just kind of be taking it easy. We're gonna, um, do some more fishing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure we won't run into any rocks whatsoever and it'll be totally fine. <laughs> The last time we played this game, um, I not only ran into some rocks, and by run into some rocks, I mean the rocks definitely, definitely appeared out of nowhere. It wasn't that I was just bad at steering my boat. It was that um, the rocks were to blame. Um, <laughs> but there were actually, like, oh, freaky rocks. Rocks that were showing up where they shouldn't have been showing up, so... <sighs> Yeah, exactly. Nothing bad has ever happened to anyone at sea. <laughs> On to the Codfather. Indeed, we return to the Codfather after all this time. I had been meaning to play this earlier, but God, I don't know. There's so many games that I want to play. <laughs> there's so many games and not enough time. So um, it's been a couple months since we last played this, but I'm hoping to play it some more in the next couple months so that it doesn't go quite so long between sessions but <laughs> damn it damn it gabriel not to mention the boat that only yumi saw listen listen i i i know that some of you were able to go back and you were able to find the boat i even time stamped it i time stamped it being like haha yumi was right <laughs> I don't know if I was right, though. If I'm the one time stamping it, doesn't that mean that it could still be that only I can see it? <sighs> but yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm I'm still kind of like getting back in the swing of things after being really sick for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've got some really fun stuff that I've got planned for you folks in the next couple of weeks. So I'm excited. It's going to be good. <laughs> I can actually finally show you some of the things I've been working on here in the next couple of weeks. So, yeah, um, I got my tea, though, which is fantastic. I'm going to take a, a sip of that real quick um, and then we'll just hop right into this. Oh, God, I feel like I'm just going to see more stuff. I'm going to see more random boats and <laughs> freaky fish and rocks and things. They're just going to be out to get me here. But I hope you folks are doing well today. Um, I, I figure this will be a nice way for us to play some more of this game. Just take it easy for a little bit. And yeah, just kind of go from there. So I'm going to really quick I'm gonna have some tea. Ah, alrighty, let's hop into this. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm going to click on the game. 
Perfect. All right, let's do this, y'all. Let's hop into it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure we're going to find more ships that only I can see. <laughs> see if there's anything we can sell oh no the wait oh no this is just options for people i can talk to i'm like oh my god the lighthouse keeper actually wants to talk to me <laughs> okay okay let's go look at my storage real quick <sighs> i got some bolts of cloth but i don't need those right now yeah that's right i'm looking for relics and i need to get some more scrap Okay, I can do this. <laughs> That's true, TJ. This game is just vibes, not just good vibes. All right, so we're hunting for relics and we're looking for some more scrap. I think we can do that. <sighs> okay, let's undock. Wee. <laughs> okay, let's go look for some more scrap. I think that scrap will probably be... We're going to go out a little bit. Okay. Can I actually fish this section? Hold on. No, I was going to say, I don't have an oceanic rod yet. Okay. We're hunting. We're going to go hunt for some scrap. I'm sure that's going to be totally fine. <laughs> I'm sure that will be totally fine. You know, that's true. After the adventure with the rabbit squad, we shouldn't be afraid of anything. We're gonna be totally fine. I think this is some lumber, but let's grab some anyway. Okay. Sounds good, let's start dredging. Oh, hold on. It's been a little while, but I, I remember how to do this, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, we just got more bolts of cloth. Hmm. I need to go find somewhere else to get some uh, scrap, apparently. So let's keep going this way. Oh. <laughs> Corvus, you're doing a deep clean of your room. So hearing the water splashing while mopping is immersion. <laughs> That's fantastic. I don't know. There's... Oh. I'm so glad we're playing this game again. This game is delightful in like the most horrifying way possible, right? <laughs> oh yes, that's a good shout out too. Dredge is actually on sale on Steam. So if you all enjoy this and you want to check it out, you should do it. Oh, the stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. I'm sure it's the super responsible thing to place my hand on the stone, so let's do it. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Okay, we're just gonna make a note that there's a freaky little stone over there. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, this looks like some scrap. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. <laughs> you don't see any stone. <laughs> I did get ghosted by a stone. It didn't have anything for us. Okay, let's look inside. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, look at all of this! Lumber. Yes, 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 yes. I want lumber. Uh, let's go put that here. Let's go get some more lumber, and then we can fit the rest of this. We'll go iron chain, research part. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Let's grab a ring. We're definitely not robbing the dead here. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me check real quick. Can I check the map? How far off? We're just kind of cruising around. We can cruise around the outside and then make our way back in, I think. I think that's fine. And at some point, we need to go down to the Gale Cliffs, but um, 
I think that's okay. Okay, let's actually, I think we can go up and around, so let's do that. Okay. Let's make our way through this little thing. I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I feel like I should probably... Ooh. Look at that navigating. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Okay. We're going to go over here and we'll, we'll grab a couple of fish on our way back. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Start fishing. Oh my gosh. I'm out of practice. Okay. Let's keep fishing. Perfect. We'll get a couple of squid. Perfect. Okay. We're just gonna, unfortunately, um, <laughs> capture all of the squid. Uh, I can do better with my organizing. Let's do that. Okay. Ah, oh, the devil's spine. It sounds like a wonderful vacation spot. Right? I'm sure nothing bad will happen there. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Okay, let's quickly. Let's let's get back to let's get back to shore. Okay. Okay. We're doing alright. Woo! Alright! We're back in the the swing of things. Let's go to the fishmonger first. We'll sell some of our squid, and then I can go see if there's any other upgrades that we can do. Lousy weather lately. Almost makes you not want to get out of bed. But you and I, we've got to do it, eh? We're what keeps people from going hungry. Okay, let's go. I can just sell all the fish, so let's do that. All right, bye, fishmonger. Oh, God. The freaky noises. <laughs> oh, my God. Calamari sounds so good right now. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that sounds amazing. Lemon butter sauce, calamari. Here's the thing. That's kind of the wonderful thing about seafood is that, like, anything... <laughs> Anything with lemon or butter, I feel like goes really well with most seafood, which is kind of fantastic. Let's go. We'll collect some lumber. Okay. Junk to the untrained eye, but there's good metal here. Someone might pay for this. We'll tuck that away right here. I'm going to hold on to the citrine ring as well. I feel like we might need that. Um, besides that, though, a research part is kind of fantastic. So let's go... Mm. Yeah, let's go to our research section. Can I actually buy anything yet? Okay, so I've got an anti-tangle line. I think we're trying to save up for this because I need to... Ooh, wait, I can actually unlock this. Okay, let's do that. So I've got one research part, so let's do that because the ultimate thing that we want is this. It's kind of gigantic, but we can use it for everything, which I think is ideal. So let's go, we'll unlock this. Um, that will actually let us do some more fishing. Technically, I can buy a hydraulic rod too, which doesn't seem like a bad idea, just while we're waiting to save up for this. Oh my gosh. This will take us four research parts to actually unlock too. Oh god. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That'll be our long-term goal is trying to get that. Yo, oh, Corvus, thank you for the super chat. I'm weird with fish. I can only eat fish if it's sushi or battered and fried. There's no in-between. <laughs> Here's the thing. Hey, that's not bad at all. Both of those preparations are fantastic. Like, sushi-grade fish is so delicious. It's insanely good. And then, like, battered and fried fish? <laughs> oh, God, it's very, very good. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm generally a big fan of seafood, but, like, if there are certain preparations that you like more than others, just roll with that. That's totally fine. That's honestly fantastic. <laughs> oh, God. This is making me so hungry for stuff now, though. God, it all sounds so good. Um, I think that maybe what we'll do is what's the current rod that I've got? 
God forbid if you encounter fish hot pot. God, that would defeat me. Absolutely defeat me. I've had like um, some like shellfish hot pot before and it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> But it's also if if it's something where like um, you folks are into certain preparations, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, seafood pasta! God, this all sounds so good. <sighs> okay, I'm looking over the rods that we've got because we've got volcanic and shallow, mangrove and coastal. I'm gonna hold off on buying these two. I'm gonna get the oceanic one. I think that's fine. Oh, never mind. It's 410. All right, we're going to save up for that. We're pretty close. Or it, um, it's slightly cut off by my screen, but it's 375 is what we've currently got. So I believe in us. I think we can do it. Okay. Yes, I am. Oh, 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 fellow scallops enjoyers. <laughs> I love scallops so much. Oh, my God. Oh, I haven't ever tried them in pizza, though. Oh, that feels so decadent. Like half the time when I eat pizza, it's like something that I'm preparing is like, and I'll just like really good sausage meats or something like that going over it, pepperoni or Italian sausage or something on the top, but scallops on pizza. Oh God, this sounds good. <laughs> okay, let's rest for a little bit. Um, We will wake up now this is fine okay perfect oh. <laughs> oh god kaiser devil how the ghost ship will get you me you want to join our hot pot i i'm a goner if that's the case if the ghosts come whispering to me we have tasty food tasty delicacies you might not have had before <laughs> i'm just completely screwed at that point oh god Okay, we're off. I guess maybe what we could do, um, let's look at our map again. Should we try to make it down to the Gale Cliffs? Part of me wants to try and see if we can't like help this person first. So maybe we'll, we'll head up towards Steel Point. We'll see if we can't get some more scrap just to complete this other quest and then we can head down to Gale Cliff. I think that seems fine. <laughs> Don't fall for the hot pots on the rocks. <laughs> we can't let the ghosts know about this. It'll all be over at that point. <laughs> okay, let's head up. Let's go up this way. We're gonna go... Oh, God. Uh, I don't like the, the freaky wind telling me that I should go places. That's never good. The freaky wind has never, has never been good. Oh god, I don't like the freaky wind. Freaky wind, stop! Stop! Stop it! <laughs> stop! Oh god. Okay, I'm just gonna confirm really quick that the thing I'm thinking of is actually up here, because I think that it is. Let's go, because I think this is where we stayed before and I saw the freaky ship that was definitely actually there. <laughs> The freaky ship was actually there. It wasn't just me hallucinating. Uh, okay, let's check this real quick. Yes, I can dock there. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh that looks like scrap. Hold on, let's go grab that. Uh, we'll do this. Shapes in the deep. Ooh, boy. Okay, I'm sure this will be fine. We found a goblet. Okay, that seems cool. Part of me wonders if I should just sell some of this stuff, just make a bunch of money off of it. But look at how like particular some of this is. I don't know, maybe this belongs to someone. Maybe I can give it to them. Like we, we've already helped find some lost things for people. Oh, <laughs> TJ. You know how sailors used to wreck ships because they were attracted to mermaid songs? Yumi would do the same, but with the smell of seafood hot pot. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong is the thing. Oh god, it's my weakness. Ooh, this looks like... This actually looks like this could be what we're looking for. We're just trying to find one thing of scraps, and then we're set. Yeah, we did it! We did it! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so where am I going? Where am I turning this in? Um, 
let's go her suits yes where is this oh we just need to go to steel point oh that's that's i think right where we're at right excellent okay let's head back let's go deliver it i'm gonna slowly turn the ship around all right we'll help this person leave this freaky place and um and then everything will be fine <laughs> Everything will be totally fine. Okay, let's go deliver this. Perfect, okay. Material pile. Yes, let's deliver the last of the metal scraps. Perfect. We have delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Okay, uh, can I make it back in time? Let's do it. It's it's still daylight. We can make it back. I believe in us. I believe in the heart of the cards and the heart of the fish. <laughs> Come on, little boat. I believe in you. You can do it. Okay, we're going to make it a little closer then we'll fish a little bit. Oh god. Okay, let's 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 go here. We can actually do the oceanic fish now. Oh no, wait, excuse me. That's that's a hopeful thinking. <laughs> that's not actually true. We can't do them yet. Soon though. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Pick up a couple mackerel. We're trying to go by. Okay, this is depleted. Oh no, it was telling me to fish here all along, no. Okay. A gray eel. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad. Oh no, what is, what is gonna be this horrifying thing here? <laughs> A barbed eel. Mmm. Mmm, fantastic. That's great. It has um, a spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Hate that. <laughs> I hate that. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. It does look like one of those deep sea ones. That's extremely accurate. <laughs> Oh god. I'm glad y'all like this outfit. It's been a while since I've been able to bust this out, but um, yeah, it's it's been good. Uh, okay, let's go sell this to the fishmonger. I'm kind of scared about giving this to the fishmonger. Every time that we've given him one of these, he goes kind of crazy. Like last time he tried to eat one, and then he like didn't remember that he'd done that the next day it was really bad so i'm kind of scared i don't really want to give it to him but it, no one else will take my fish <laughs> uh. some fish prefer deeper water while others stick to the shallows if you're looking for something specific it's important to know what depth you're working with <sighs> okay let's sell all the fish Okay. Please don't eat the barbed eel. <laughs> okay, it looks like he's not going to. That's good. <laughs> oh, maybe we're okay for now. Okay, builder. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Oh, God. Okay. Are you okay with hanging out here overnight? Cause we're not we're not gonna go anywhere good riddance to you greater marrow i'm onward bound okay um let me really quick put some stuff in storage since i'm not 100 percent i'm not 100 percent sure that i want to sell these things yet so let's let's we'll stick these here just in case okay okay <laughs> get in my inventory lately lady <laughs> I almost said lately. No, it's she's she's a lady. She's not lately. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Some of these descriptions would fit um, real life deep sea creatures. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> okay, let's rest for a little bit, and then tomorrow we can go head out. Okay. 
We'll rest until it starts getting light. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go undock. Oh, it's raining! Yay! I'm sure that won't be bad. Uh, okay, so... Ferry the builder to steel port? Uh, steel point, excuse me. Not the port. That's only a point. There's only like a little dock there. We can do that. Uh, let's go... Uh, the barbed eel has been added to our encyclopedia. A spine broken with sharp angled and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. I don't like that description. <laughs> I don't like that description at all. Uh. Oh, and yes, that is a fantastic question. As a free-to-play player, you can absolutely save enough to get Dress Hina. Um, generally, if you, regardless of whether you're free-to-play or um, if you do the, um, I guess I'll call it like the battle pass, the monthly pass, um, you can save up enough pyroxene to guarantee a character within two months. If you get the monthly pass, you'll have that pyroxene a little sooner than two months. But if you're completely free to play, you will have everything you need after two months. And Dress Hina, I think based on my calculations, I think that she will be showing up either late July or early August. I'm actually leaning towards early August. So you have, you have plenty of time. <laughs> Even if you have no pyroxene right now, you will have plenty of time to save up for her. So yeah, no, that is that is a spectacular question. Oh, marine biologist Yumi. You know, for a brief period of time when I was a young snake, um, I actually really wanted to be a marine biologist until um, I found out that I was uh, really bad at being out on the water. Like I went on a ship at one point and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I would have to like do this like uh, a non-trivial amount of the time and like uh, that seems like that would be kind of rough. <laughs> Suddenly blue archive. <laughs> Listen, it, it finds a way into all of my streams one way or another. It's not that I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> oh god. God, right? Wait, no, no! Why, why is it telling me that there's more freaky things? No, why? Why? Stop. Surely, surely there can't be more scary things for me to have to... Uh, we'll deal with that later. I'm not doing that right now. We have to go and drop someone off. But yeah, no, I, I love... Um, I don't know. I'm a big fan of cosmic horror, and like this game has uh, really big cosmic horror vibes, which is fantastic. It is, uh, it's very good. Yeah, I know for real that the freaky, the freaky fish are trying to lure me somewhere else. We can go and check that out in a second. <laughs> Sending you straight to the rocks. Do you see what I'm saying? The rocks are out to get me, no matter where I go. Okay, we've dropped off the builder though. Yes. Yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. It's always good to have on hand. <gasps> oh my god, I will gladly take these. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic! We got more research parts. We're halfway where we need to be to unlock the 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 best fishing rod. Okay. Let's go head back to where the freaky the freaky stuff was. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. God, yeah, that's the thing, right? Marine biology seems really cool, but I think that like <sighs> it, it can be difficult <laughs> if you find out that you're not good with like boats or if you're like um, gonna be better suited for other things and that's the thing pursuing academia is very expensive and can be like um, sometimes kind of rough for your mental health so like for those of you who are like in graduate programs please take care of yourselves I hope that you folks are doing okay um, and just hang in there. It can be a lot to get through, but uh, 
Yeah, you folks are doing a really good job. Okay, perfect. We got this. I figure that we'll we'll actually get some fish here because uh, that will help us get some more money that we need to actually buy some of these rods. I think that's perfect. And then we probably do have to start heading down south, I think. <sighs> and you know, there's nothing wrong if like you don't want to. Um, I don't know if you find that like there's something else that you want to pursue. I think college can be awesome for a lot of things like you can learn a lot of stuff, like more complicated things that you weren't able to tackle when you were in high school, which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of like trade schools and things like that. Like if you don't want to do a traditional college, which is really nice. I, I got a trophy. <gasps> That's fantastic. <laughs> I caught a trophy fish. Excellent. <gasps> oh. It's, it's, it's 27 centimeters. How big is the other one? Oh my God. It was only 18 centimeters. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing. There's nothing wrong if you find, <laughs> man, let me tell you, as someone who was firmly convinced that I wanted to be, um, there was kind of two paths that I saw for myself. Either I was going to be a teacher or I was going to do research in a lab. And in the end, I decided that I wanted to do something else <laughs> besides that, which I think is totally fine. Like you end up with a lot of experience and knowledge from whatever it is you pursue. Um, and like, I'm glad for that. Now I can ramble about biology and other things. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing wrong with like changing career paths or changing what it is that you're doing. Uh, no. Mm. <laughs> no! The brood squid. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside it. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, God. Oh, man, that's true. Here's the thing. Um, I feel like there's a lot more jobs nowadays for folks who are in pure mathematics. Like, um, there's all sorts of, like, data jobs that you can do. But <laughs> a lot of them require you to, like, I don't know, like, work with big corporations or, like, banks and things like that. Um, so it's always good to, like, <sighs> look around to see what's available. It can be... <laughs> There can be a lot of jobs that will try to, like, take advantage of your time and, like, overwork you. And that's no good. I want you folks to be to be in a good position as, as best as possible. <laughs> Butter it! Butter the squid! Oh, God! Oh, that's the thing. I agree. If, if if I feel like I should just chuck this back in the water again, but I feel like the fishmonger is going to want it. Oh... Uh... Okay, take take the brood squid. <laughs> okay, we sold it for a lot though, so that's good. <sighs> that's no good. <laughs> you know, Gabriel, that's actually a fantastic perspective to come away from. Like, I think that's something that is really nice. Like uh, when you're diving into academia or the sciences, it can be really nice to come away and acknowledge that information often does have a bias to it. So it's important to always keep in mind, like, things about whoever it is that's writing things. Um, sometimes even within scientific papers, too, it can be important to keep that in mind of like, okay, this person is talking about this from this perspective. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have, like, a healthy amount of skepticism when you approach the world. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry it's led to arguments with your parents, though. <laughs> That's always rough. Hey, it's good, though. Coming away with, um, you know, some critical thinking, uh, challenging things. It's always good. It's always good. Oh, God. You're right. I hope that the fishmonger doesn't start glowing. He hasn't said anything. I've given him like two of these questionable fish, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm a little concerned. If we show up and he starts glowing, I, I agree. I think that means that he's, um, 
consumed the things that we've given him. <laughs> and that's bad. Uh, anyway, let's um, let's use some of our research points. I'm sure that will be fine. Okay, we'll spend one, spend two. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, oh my gosh, Corvus, no! You shouldn't feel guilty at all. That's exactly, I think that's a very good shout out that like your passions might change over time. You might be really into something like early on, um, whether it's something you're pursuing as a career or like even hobbies. You can sometimes change like being like, you know, I've really enjoyed doing this, but maybe I can go and check this thing out. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's totally fine. It's kind of like, the sunk cost fallacy. It's this idea that you've spent so much time on something that you're obligated to finish it. And it's okay. Like, <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes you can just like throw in the towel and be like, you know what? This, this isn't making me happy. This is making me miserable. It's okay. It's all right to move on to something or to like change what it is that I'm doing. So, oh, Oh, also, yeah, no, um, the ghost outfit that I have, it's, <laughs> it's actually great. You can see that it has a little eye on it and the eye changes based on what my eyes are doing, which is kind of fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, we're doing good. Um, welcome, welcome. For those of you just joining the stream, we, uh, have caught some very questionable fish. Um, I think our plan right now is we're going to start making our way south. I think that that's our plan. So we'll rest a little bit and then we'll head south. I'm sure that'll be fine. Okay. We're going to rest. <sighs> Maybe I should rest a little more. Oh, I just want to make sure that I've got enough, like, daylight to make it south. I think that this is fine. I'm going to undock right now. Okay. Okay. Let's undock. This is maybe a bad idea. I think we can do this, though. Okay, so let me double check. So we're going... <laughs> the brood squid. Okay, so we're heading... We're searching for relics. Right. So there's a music box down at Gale Cliffs. We can find a ring in Stellar Basin, find the necklace in Twisted Strand, find the watch in Devil's Spine. Okay. I'm sure this will all be fine. Uh, let's go look at our map real quick. <sighs> okay. We'll go head down there. Thankfully, all of these little um, black dots indicate that we can dock there. So that's what we want to do. We want to head as far south as we can. <sighs> I'm almost wondering if maybe what I should do is do a little bit of exploring down here and then maybe dock here for the night at Maxstone Isle and then that'll get us a little bit closer to make the journey down. Okay. Okay. Okay, look out for rocks. <laughs> look out for suspicious rocks, okay? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, it's the ship. Is that a ship? No, it's just a, it's just a, okay. We're okay. It's not the ship. It's not the ship. It's not the ship. We're okay. We're fine. Okay. Actually, I changed my mind. I think we're going to try and make it all the way down there. I believe in us. I think we can do it. No, no. Don't try to trick me. You know what you're trying to do, game. <laughs> We gotta make our way down to this aisle. We have a long way to go. God, it's just trying to tempt me back there. No, we're leaving, we're leaving. <laughs> She's losing it, bros, no. <laughs> oh God, we have a ways to go. Okay, this is fine though, hold on. Let me, let me check our bearings. Map, okay, we're heading the right way. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> what ship? Okay, actually, this time there wasn't a ship. We're okay. There wasn't actually a ship this time, so we're fine. <laughs> there wasn't actually anything there. <sighs> okay, I'm not being tempted by that. We're skipping right past it. I gotta... Oh, actually, we're not that far out. Mm. <laughs> Poor Yumi arguing with ghosts. <laughs> okay, I want to I wanna check out the ship. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor. 
except that this one has a huge breach in one side. You're tied up alongside the old wreck. Um, let's check out its cargo. You poke through the cargo hold. A few items remain, not lost yet to the sea. I don't want a basic fishing pole. I'll take some metal scraps. That's fine. <laughs> Damn it, TJ, thank you for the super chat. The rocks, the rocks. Oh no, this is, this is like the exact same as my boat. Oh, I don't like that. Um, let's look inside the cabin. You're in the cabin. Look in the cupboards and the drawers. The cupboards have been completely and methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. The motorcycles, they know. <laughs> I don't understand how they always know when I'm filming. God, that one was so damn loud too. Okay. <laughs> They're, they, I can't escape them. They're just following me everywhere. Okay, try to find a loose floorboard. There aren't even any floorboards left. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Uh, let's check the overhead electrical equipment. The equipment is all still there, though surely exposure to the elements has fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. Okay. Yay, we ended up with a note from the dead fisherman. <laughs> oh god, maybe they are colluding with the... Oh no, maybe the bikers are colluding with the rocks. That's terrible. <laughs> oh god. They know the rocks were coming for me and so, so too. <gasps> okay. That's just a whale. Okay. 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 We're in the ocean now. <laughs> it was a pretty cool whale. Nothing spooky. I just... <laughs> uh, that, um, I didn't expect it to leap out of the water. Um, <sighs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. Let's, let's fish. Let's fish. <laughs> Whale jump scare indeed. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. I think I got that. <laughs> deep breath, deep breath indeed. Oh, God. Yeah, you know, system philosophy, it is, this year has been so weird. It actually hasn't been all that cold. It's like proper spring temperatures outside so like there's no um there's no ice whatsoever um it like some of the grass is very confused it doesn't know if it should be growing or not <laughs> oh god okay but yeah as a result that means that the bikers are back and i hate that okay i think we're okay let's go to the center i want to go grab whatever this is this little glowing thing over here. Yeah, no snow and no ice. It's freaking me out. It's actually really funny. There's um, a national weather service in my country, um, and they do really good updates on, like, what is the weather going to be like? What is everything happening? Oh, let me go check this dock real quick. I'm going to see if this is where I can go to sell things. Otherwise, I need to head to the other one. Oh, God, what is happening right there? What is happening right there? That can't be good. I hate that. <laughs> I hate whatever was just happening. A little, um, a little tornado on the water. Disliked that. I'm sure I shouldn't actually go there. Um, hi, retired whaler. Yeah, thank you, Gabriel. It is indeed called a water sprout. It's like a tiny little, like, tornado on the water, right? I should not get anywhere near that. <laughs> That would be very bad. <sighs> Man, oh, you folks in the mountains? God, recently, um, 
throughout parts of, I, I got completely distracted in the middle of my story too. Um, the reason why I brought up the National Weather Service is that I've been checking their updates and <laughs> they're all kind of losing their minds in the part of the country where I am. Like every single week they're like, I'm sure that we sound like a broken record, but we, <laughs> but we broke another record this week. It's super hot. It's not supposed to be this time of year. And you're like, oh God. <laughs> Well, okay, no, this is this is not great. But then um, some parts of the country got a ton of snow. And f any of you who have um, like been in mountainous regions, it's always kind of rough because like even if it gets warm in certain times of the winter, you'll still randomly get hit with like, I don't know, all kinds of snow and rain and other things. As someone who uh, grew up in a mountainous region um, in the underground, <laughs> I, I remember that only too well. So you have my condolences. Ugh. God damn it, TJ. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. The bigger rock. <laughs> Man, okay, so we've stopped at this first port. And there is a retired whaler. I, I, maybe he can tell us about the whale that we just saw. Um, listen, retired whaler. Uh, have you heard about any strange things in the area? Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. Anything else? <laughs> okay, retired whaler, I hate to break it to you, but like, if everyone that you know suddenly hops on a ship and starts sailing away as quickly as possible... <laughs> Do you not think that maybe it's time to move on? That, like, maybe there's something wrong with the place you're at? <sighs> Clearly he didn't think this. <laughs> oh, God! For those of you who are in upstate New York, oh, God, I'm so sorry. You all have had a really rough winter. I feel like it gets kind of crazy there, because, like, you folks are really far north. You're, like, um... Like, the weather gets really bad where I'm at in the Midwest, but you folks are, like, right up in Canada. And Canada gets really rough winters, so I'm glad that everything is looking okay right now. But, um, yeah, hopefully you all don't get any more bad storms. It's been kind of a rough winter. Yeah, I know, this isn't ominous at all. I'm gonna ask if this whaler knows anything else beyond that. Okay, are there any shipwrecks around here? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. Anything else? Oh, that doesn't bode well. I think Gale Cliffs is where we're heading to to try and sell our fish. Um, what can you tell me about Ingfell? Ingfell used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the world would get to... Excuse me, <laughs> not the rest of the world. <laughs> Can you imagine? Everyone, everyone in the world comes together in order to... <laughs> to butcher this whale. No, and then the rest of the town would get to work. <laughs> They're bringing people from all over the place just to butcher this whale. I see. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Anything else? Um... I feel like it would be bad manners of me to mention that I just saw a whale on my way over here, so I'm just gonna not mention anything. And I'm gonna say, um, uh, see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this does seem to be based on, like, 
um, old North American fishing towns way, way, way back in the day. Um, there did used to be whale fishing. Um, or I guess whaling is what they call it. But uh, a lot of whales are pretty endangered. <laughs> so uh, that is like pretty strictly banned now, which I think is good. A lot of their populations are coming back again, which is good. Um, but actually for a long time, uh, whales were really important because the blubber from their, um, it's like the insulation layer that helps to like make sure that they're warm when they're going through the water um, and also will like help a little bit with their buoyancy in the water. Um, but all of that blubber made for really, really good um, fuel. So you could use whale blubber to make lamps. You could use whale blubber for like a ton of things. So it's actually a pretty important resource for a lot of um, not just fishing communities, but like a lot of early uh, human populations relied on that quite a bit. Thankfully, we have much better things now. <laughs> we don't need to go and hunt the whales anymore, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's kind of wild to know, like, uh, there was a lot of things that, like, people would do because they needed certain resources. That being said, uh, you could argue that, like, a lot of, um hunting of very big animals. Some of it was done just for the sake of it. <laughs> some some of the whale hunting wasn't for their blubber, but it was like, I'm going to conquer this. I'm going to, to capture this large creature. And you're like, okay, but like, <sighs> there aren't that many of them left now. Thank you. Oh, and yes, Gordon, exactly. Um, ambergris was also very important for perfumes. So, like, it was a very important thing um, for a lot of early human civilizations to have hunted whales in some capacity. But we don't need to do that anymore, which is good. Uh, in fact, we probably shouldn't have kept doing it for as long as we did because uh, a lot of their populations are still not doing very well, um, which is kind of sad. So if you ever see whales, it's pretty cool. Like, um, there's not a whole lot of them left, um, but their populations have sort of been going up in the last couple decades, which is very nice. Oh, but yes, okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your help. Um, I'm going to talk to this resident real quick because she has a quest for us. Oh, what is it? Um, do you need help with anything? <laughs> I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Okay, sure. So I just need to let an eel hang out in my inventory for a little bit. <laughs> okay, sure. I can bring that to you. Oh, thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Anything else? Where can I catch a conger eel? Oh, yes, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passage, the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, great. <laughs> I have to navigate around more rocks, okay? <sighs> okay. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? <laughs> yes, I believe they hide during the day. Okay, I already hate this quest. <laughs> I already hate this. Okay, good luck. Anything else? Um, can you tell me uh, what you know about the cliffs? Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. 
supposedly. They got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed, their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed even to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Anything else? Uh, that's actually pretty helpful. We can go hunting for treasure. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Uh, do you know of any odd characters around these parts? Have you heard the tale of Magrun? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crews spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magron, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magron, the fish man. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and the lines had been slashed in the night. And old Magron was nowhere to be found. Nor has he been seen since. Anything else? I don't like this at all! <laughs> this isn't... This isn't the fishmonger, is it? Or this isn't... Oh, God. I'm trying to remember Magron. That isn't the person who we're trying to help either, is it? The freaky scholar? I don't think it's the freaky scholar. I'd be much more willing to think that it's... um. Yeah, no, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried this is also happening to the fishmonger. It might not be that he's the exact same person, but this phenomenon might be happening to him. Man, they probably need to kick the fishmonger out then. <laughs> if he's gonna... Oh, no, he's already too far gone. I I'm all for, like, um, he's, he's going to, like need some support maybe we just like take him away from uh cutting up the fish uh, i shouldn't say that we kick him out that's that's so terrible in my head i'm thinking that he's about to cut the lines of uh everyone's fishing gear and have a bad time but <laughs> no it, he, there might still be time to save him oh that's bad though <laughs> this is a were fish Ugh! um where can i sell my fish here now we catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. Uh, but there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything. And she does repairs, too. Anything else? Um, that's it. Thank you. Okay, let's undock. Across the bay. Hold on. I think she's over here, then. Let's go talk to her. I think this is our merchant that we're looking for. Oh god, it's getting so dark! Ah! You better be the merchant! Hello? Are you the merchant? <laughs> Ahoy there! You're a new face! A fisherman, I take it! Perfect! Well, we should get along like a house on fire! <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Well, I am extremely ready to trade, thank you. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's go. Fish market. Let's go sell some stuff. On this side of the pontoon, I'll buy the f I'll buy any fish you want to sell. I also keep a stock of crab pots here for sale. Fantastic. Okay, let's sell all our fish. Okay. Say, have you met the photographer? Uh, she stopped by my pontoon a while back. 
she's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? Uh, you'd never forget anything. Anyway, she said she was setting up on a small island to the south of the Marrows. If you're in the area, maybe you could check on her. Okay, sure, I can do that. Uh, let me go talk to her real quick. Uh, hey again, come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Oh, absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I've figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your info with me. Yes, absolutely. I can definitely help with that. Uh, great. Uh, the fish I have left to track down are an oar fish, a gulper eel, a goliath tiger fish, and a coelacanth. Now, I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Hmm. What did you want to know besides that? Yeah, sure. Tell me where everything is. We can go hunting for them. Uh, where are the oar fish found? Uh, given that the oar fish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they'll live in reasonably deep but calm water. Uh, maybe the shelter of gale cliffs would suit them. Now what about the other fish? What about gulper eels? I know that gulper eels live at the deepest depth imaginable. You'll have to get some specialist gear to catch one of those. Uh, what about Goliath Tigerfish? Uh, these guys are legitimately scary. Uh, they hunt in murky, swampy waters, using the shade of trees as cover. Okay, I don't like that. Uh, tell me about coelacanths. Actually, I have no idea where coelacanths might be, but they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, um, I have a couple other questions. Yeah, that's the thing. Some of this is fairly accurate. Oh, God. Well, maybe we'll have the best time finding an oarfish because we're pretty close to some of this, I think. So we can go hunting for some of these. Oh, okay. Wait, do I actually have one of those rare fish? Hold on. Oh no, this is just I can talk to her if I want more info. Okay, okay, we'll back out of that. Um, can you tell me what you know about Gale Cliffs? Besides that there's probably an oarfish here somewhere. Well, there's Ingfell just across the bay, which is a dreary little whaling town. The folks there are always in need of something, which keeps me in business. Oh. The residents are always talking about the cliffs most seem afraid. Uh, frankly, I'm not sure why they stay. Occasionally, I hear deep rumblings from within the rocks. I don't hang around here for long. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, that's terrifying. Um, are you always out on the water, if that's the case? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving along. The merchanting is secondary to the traveling, really. I'm more of a merchanting traveler. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which is only sometimes nice. <laughs> That's an incredible sentiment. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, the less nice. <laughs> Five out of ten. Oh, God. You know, I actually don't know if gulper eel means pelican eel. I'd have to look that up. Based on what you folks were saying, it sounds like they're gigantic, which is kind of terrifying. So anyway, that'll be fun. We'll get to go through some, some rocks. Um, 
some very narrow passageways looking for them. I'm sure that won't end badly, especially after hearing her say that like sometimes the rocks make noises. I feel like I'm going to get crushed. I don't like that. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, uh, moving on. Traveling merchant. Um, can you tell me, do you ever see strange things out at sea? Strange things? <laughs> Plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know? <laughs> uh, but hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are and they're incredibly dangerous. <laughs> Better not risk it. Uh, that was extremely helpful. Thank you, traveling merchant. Um, I'll be going now. Uh, let me see if I want to store anything real quick. Oh, yeah, let's store some metal scraps. Oh, God, my storage is consistent. Yes, perfect. I'm actually going to move these up here so we have more room. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I think, let me go check the shipyard and the floating dock, and then we can probably sleep for the night, because I don't know exactly where we need to hunt for those eels. I'm going to have to explore that during the day, and then we can go from there. Okay, so let's check this real quick. Yeah, might be used to dry docks at other ports, uh, but we can make the same upgrades to your boat here at this floating dock. Check it out. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough material for some of this. Um, I actually do have, I could grab some stuff from my storage actually to upgrade some of this. Ooh, let me think about this. I'm gonna look over some of these options. Some of these upgrades are kind of fantastic. Um, let me, that's actually perfect timing. Everyone, it's a hydration check. Uh, get yourself some water get yourself something to drink. I'm going to look over these upgrades and then we'll actually maybe upgrade our boat a little bit. It's kind of fantastic. Dang, so it looks like I have to actually do at least one of these upgrades. <sighs> Multiple engine spaces. I was going to say that seems the most appealing, right? Because like if we could actually go faster, that seems good. <laughs> Lights for fighting the rocks. <laughs> it's true because you have to actually see them first. I kind of like engine space. That seems good. It only costs a hundred too. <laughs> Gordon, thank you for the super chat. Here is upgrade money for your boat. Just feed it to the fish. It works, I promise. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's get um some more engine spaces. That seems good. I need to go grab some stuff out of storage real quick. Um, let's go grab some scrap. Ugh. And then we'll go get some wood. <laughs> Rocks hate this one shiny trick. They really do. It's perfect, though, because that means that if we start having trouble with the rocks, I can just get a bigger light. I'm almost tempted to get the bigger light just on principle, but I think that I want a faster boat. I can actually do more things. That seems that seems like the right decision. OK. Uh, let's go two engine spaces. Oh no! I don't have enough scrap! Damn. Damn it. Okay, we're looking for more scrap. Never mind. Damn. Okay. Okay, we'll be on the lookout for that. Let's go and put this back in storage. <laughs> I spent all this time getting it out of storage. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go put this back in storage. And then, um, yeah, kind of go from there. 
I'll see what else this merchant is selling. Okay. Uh, what about the shipyard? Most of this gear is super heavy, so I don't offload it at every pontoon. But come aboard and see what equipment I've got for sale. Yeah, she does have a lot of stuff. Um. Uh, should I bother with this rod? Uh, excuse me, this hydraulic rod? Maybe I'll hold off. I can always buy this from her tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> And the best part of putting a light on your ship is that your ship will be more visible to observers. This is definitely not scary to think about. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> You're right. Oh. Yeah, here's the thing. The ocean and like having to stay awake for long periods of time are not a good combination. I feel like there's all kinds of really freaky things that you could maybe think you see. And that's not good. Okay, so let's, we'll hold off on the hydraulic rod for now. I think what we'll do is we'll just rest. We'll rest, and then we'll see what we can find from there. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Is there a star shell I can buy? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I could actually buy a better spotlight than what I've currently got. That might not be a bad idea, right? <gasps> I can buy a research part. Oh, it's so expensive though. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. Um, so that she does have that. Ugh. Yeah, I've currently got a cloudy lens. Okay, it gives me a 20 meter range. This is 25, <laughs> but way more lumens. So I actually have a much better time seeing. Ugh. Hold on, I'm gonna go look at these upgrades real quick. And this is important. Um, maybe I will actually buy the light. It's not a bad idea. Because then I could have that at the front. I can get rid of this light that I've currently got. I say let's do it. Let's get a better light. Let's get the halogen spotlight. That seems fine. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Let's buy it. Oh, actually. Oh, I can't because I don't have enough. Ah, only that right now. Okay, never mind. We'll refund that real quick. So that is a reason to actually expand our light if that's the case. Maybe I should just do that then. I'm sorry, I'm changing my mind as quickly as I... <laughs> okay, I... All right, I have to do it. I have to protect myself against the rocks. I think, I think I'm gonna do it. We've got this, we can get some more scrap elsewhere. This seems like a good idea. Let's go get the halogen lights. I love how quickly I changed my mind on this. I went from, no, I'm going to save up to, no, I need that. I need that. <laughs> okay, let's go do it. Alrighty, let's... Let's go buy the thing that will make it so I can survive the rocks better. <sighs> okay, perfect. Let's purchase that. <laughs> okay purchase. Fantastic. Oh, I do have to buy all of these. Okay, this is this is part of the process, right? In order to get a new hole. Alright, well. Now let's go. Shipyard. Um. And then let's uninstall this. Put that. We'll sell that. And then, oh, excuse me, hold on. Okay. All right, perfect. We have a halogen spotlight. <laughs> Let's install it. Okay, fantastic. Look, we'll have a much brighter, ooh, that's already much brighter. Look at that, fantastic. 
Or I guess that might actually be the old one still. That's okay. We're gonna rest overnight and then we'll take off from there. <sighs> Let's rest. The merchant has some nice music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All this work, spending an effort to combat the most vile of threats at sea. The Rock. Listen, The Rock has been my number one opponent in this game. <laughs> The rocks are always out to get me. Wait, it's 4.30 in the morning, but there's still... It's not light out. Is it because it's raining? Oh, I don't like that. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Okay. Let's undock. Oh, look, we got a brighter set of lights now. Oh, God. Why is it so dark? I hate it. Okay. Let's, um... Oh, I'm sure that's where we need to go, is between these rocks over there. <laughs> Fun! Okay. Oh, look. Let's go investigate some stuff. You know, the rain, the rain is really calming. That's true. Even if it freaked me out because, um, there wasn't enough light. <laughs> oh! A black sea bass. Okay. Wow, everything is already depleted. Oh. Is that not shining still? Maybe I should have gone and fished there first. Hold on. Let me look around real quick. Just gonna do a quick pivot. Okay. Maybe I just missaw that. We'll we'll do this. Okay, we'll fish. Get some more of these. Oh. It's all kind of unsettling. At least these perch are really small. I like that. That always seems good. Okay. I'll hold off. I'm not going to completely fish that out. Okay. Let's go investigate this real quick. Hello. Hi, fish. How's it going? Oh, we got a stone fish. Oh. <laughs> also, hello, everyone who's just joining. Um, definitely haven't been any creepy things that we've seen. I definitely didn't get scared by a whale jumping out of the water. Uh, let's go. Oh, God. The noise over here is kind of freaky. And then we'll go like that. Okay, that's good. Um, let's go actually visit this little town over here. I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to be doing just fine. <sighs> At least it isn't a stonefish. <gasps> no! No, this is trying to get me to go over here and investigate. Um, what, what is over, no, can, can I just investigate right here? A pile of loose debris, clearing this would take some strong explosives. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Let me very carefully back up. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope that nothing mutates. <laughs> Oh, an old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Um, do you know how I could clear the debris around here? Ah, you'd probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives. Oh, are you the brother of the whaler that we talked to? Well, I could go and talk to him again, I guess. For the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff. But with all the whales gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want to know? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? 
someone that used to live here kept their ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by some falling rocks and sunk to the bottom. They were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat, decorated with all manner of memorabilia from their travels. At low tide, I can still see what's left of the masthead poking through the waves. Okay. I don't like all these rocks around here. I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> you're right, the rocks strike again. This is what I'm saying. This is the arch villain of this universe is the rocks. <laughs> You know, that's true. If we could get Haruka to help us, that would be... Yeah, no, we, we just need... We need some help with... um. <laughs> we need some help with uh, actually going and blowing things up. They think that would be good. What's happening to these cliffs? They're being consumed from the core by that hateful serpent. Have you seen it? No... What hateful serpent? <laughs> um, is it like a sea serpent? That's kind of terrifying. We land snakes um, can sometimes be like poisonous and stuff, but like uh, sea serpents, I, I don't know, actually sea serpents can be poisonous too. Um, they can be very large and terrifying though. <laughs> okay. And nobody believed me. Not until it started devouring our foundations, opening up chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the night to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. What else do you want to know? <laughs> Some more info about that terrifying creature. Uh, can you tell me? It's been burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs. You can see the gigantic holes it leaves just below the surface. As it forces its way out, it often causes rock falls. So if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I hate this so much. They're gonna make me go and hunt for these eels, and I'm gonna hear this giant serpent moving around, and I'm gonna die. <laughs> ah! I don't like this. Okay. Should I catch sight of you? You should be able to outrun it. It's quite slow, provided you can navigate the passageways. What else do you want to know? Surely this job that I've taken can't be worth my life, right? <laughs> Surely! Oh, this is terrible, though. Um, I'm gonna be totally real. This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you continue to live here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. Oh God, I'm so sorry for your loss. You know, I could help you to move to Ingfell. You could be with your brother. I know that the two of you have some bad blood, but like, uh, it's not that simple. My brother would never, you see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? You make it sound like it's gone. That's where the problem lies. 
after the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Oh, uh, this man is like, be careful about the giant freaky, maybe snake, maybe eel, maybe eldritch monster. Um, but also, can you go and get the crest for me? <laughs> okay, I'll look for it. Thank you, but please be careful. You don't have to tell me twice. God, these people. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go talk to the brother real quick. I'm gonna see if there's some explosives that he can make. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Let's go back and talk to the brother, I guess. And then I think we're looking for, um, actually, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the center place first. See what I can find. What we got over here. Bum, bum, bum. A tiger mackerel. All right, let's fish one more thing. Bup, 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 bup. Okay. Uh, let's quickly go across the way. We'll go talk to the brother. And then, um, <laughs> then we'll go from there. Yay. <laughs> You know, I, oh God, I have like multiple people that want to send me to my death here. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan. Um, what's up, retired whaler? Can you still make me explosives? Um, I heard that you used to make them, but I'm not sure if you still do. I, I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but it got the job done. Wait, you're telling me that he he was using explosives as part of the like um breaking up the carcass process? <laughs> That's kind of horrible. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to wrestle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. Ah, but I'm not sure. I don't have the energy these days. You know, I would have a use for some explosives like that. I, I could provide whatever assistance you need. All right. I'll think on it some more, but no promises. Anything else? Nope, that's good. Okay. <sighs> Let's undock. Maybe, okay, so we've got some priorities here. I want to make my ship faster. I think that might be priority one. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Not the water spout. No, 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 no. I'm gonna dock here and I'm not gonna die. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna dock here and I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Um, let me sell all these fish. Thank you. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I got $140 for that. That's great. Uh. Yeah, I think that you're right. I think y'all are right. I think this is a thing that people had to do. I mean, if you think about how big whales are, it would be really difficult to, like, break it up otherwise. That's horrible, though. <laughs> okay, so I think our priority is that we need to go and get a faster boat, which means we need to go and get more wood and we need to get more um, scraps and things. I wonder if we can actually find that around here. Uh, I'm going to undock briefly. Is there anything around here? Uh, I'm sure that there is. I think that'll be our priority for tomorrow. Is we're, we're just kind of looking for more stuff so we can upgrade our ship. I think that's kind of the biggest thing. Oh, God. I hate it. <laughs> I hate how it's like, this is your quest objective. The horrifying red glow. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's terrifying. Uh, OK, 
Okay, we're gonna sleep and then tomorrow we'll go hunting for some more stuff to upgrade our boat. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's true, we did beat the Chroma. We should be, that's a very fair point. I shouldn't be quite so scared. Okay. Gonna undock real quick. Okay, so today our mission is we're hunting for um, scraps and things, because that seems like a smart thing to do. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Perfect. <gasps> I got a research part. <gasps> I got a research part. That's fantastic. <laughs> the most horrifying thing of all. Quest progression. That's a thing, though. It is terrible. Fine. It's deeply terrifying. Okay, these just look like some fish. As much as I want the fish, I also don't want the fish. Ugh. Do I need to head up north? I might need to head up north. Oh god, some of these rocks are shifting and I hate that. Okay. I know for sure that there's some scrap places up north, so maybe that's what we'll do. We'll go up there, we'll go get some scrap. I can explore around here, I guess, before we do that. And then if we need to, we can go up north to go and get things we need. So I think, so our order of operations is we need to make our boat faster so that if we're getting chased by something, it won't um, screw us up. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, we're gonna avoid that. Um, and then we can go hunting for eels. And then, <laughs> you know, that's true. I saw you all saying that it was b not, and that, I, I, I would not doubt it whatsoever. <laughs> b not is just hanging out over here. <sighs> just ridiculous, completely ridiculous. Okay, let's get some more wood. Oh, excuse me, I don't need to do that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's actually gather some more wood because we kind of need as much as we can get. Okay, at least the wood is easy to get. Okay, let's go. Mm. I can probably do a better job organizing that, but we'll we'll do that for now. Okay, we're looking for scraps now. The scraps do tend to be kind of right around like the edges of this sort of place. So let's go, we'll keep hunting for some scraps around this edge and then we'll quickly make our way back. <laughs> we'll quickly run back to the merchant. Oh God, my controller just rumbled. Why did my controller just rumble? Oh God, that means the serpent is, oh God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. We're running, we're running. I don't like this, we're moving. I don't like this at all. Oh God. No, 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 no. I don't know what's, <laughs> we're making our way back through here. Okay, okay, I, I, I don't wanna look behind me. Oh God, oh God, oh God. My controller keeps rumbling. <gasps> okay, my controller stopped rumbling. No, don't you, game, you can't screw with me like this. Ah! What is over there? What is happening? No, 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 no. I'm docking. I'm docking. <laughs> I ain't screwing with that. You can't trick me, game. Ah! My controller is still rumbling. This is terrible. Oh, I hate this. Here's the thing, I don't think it's batteries, y'all. I don't think it's batteries at all, I'm plugged in. No, this is definitely something is moving. Something is moving by us. I'm gonna store this real quick, okay. Okay, I'm sure this is all fine. <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna use our, um, you know, we're gonna use our research part. Oh God, it's just intermittently rumbling, this is terrifying. Okay, uh, we have some more things. That's great. Oh, I guess we can also read through some of our messages while this freaky thing is passing by us. <laughs> oh, 
Um, before we do, let's go really quick. Let's upgrade our, our stuff. Let's get a research part. It is waiting for me to leave the dock. This is what I'm saying. I'm terrified. Okay, let's let's use that. Um, and then uh, we can actually buy another research part, but I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like I can probably find it in the overworld. Um, okay. Is there any anything else I can do? I think I can I can read some of this stuff. Let's do it. Let's look at our map. Oh, look at this. Ha 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 ha. More things for us to investigate here. <laughs> I hate that. Um, encyclopedia. We caught some more stuff. Um, messages. Okay, let's let's read some more stuff. We found another. So previously we had found two notes, um, which was uh, very freaky. Um, it was this this woman on a honeymoon talking about how her husband was like getting weirdly obsessive about um, some stuff that he'd found while they were fishing, which is kind of terrifying. Um, but let's let's read through this artifact manifest vessel. S.Y. Grand Prize. Owner, Mr. Michael Schultz. Port, Gale Cliffs. Oaken Music Box. Purchased from the Antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside. Otherwise, in a reasonable condition. It has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by the locksmith. A wooden mask, carved wooden tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. That's one hell of a mask. <laughs> oh my God. Good God, that's kind of like everything in one. Okay. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. Come on, that's worth more than a pair of socks. <laughs> That's an extremely good mask. A 12 piece uh, tea set, bone china. Uh, we have six cups and six saucers acquired from an Eastern dealer. Do not use. I don't like that. Is it like cursed cups and saucers? That's kind of terrifying. And then a jar of earth, a jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. And then we have a, that's an interesting um, grouping of things. <laughs> okay, and then here is the note from that shipwreck that we haven't actually looked over yet. The one that had a boat that looked very horrifyingly similar to us. Oh God. Oh no, this is, ah! I already don't like where this note is going. Fisherman's note, deep sky. Deep sky, deep forever. And it's got arrows pointing between them. Casket seal broken, fog core, five equals rise. He knows. Am I gonna die because I read this? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna die because there's a giant sea serpent that's trying to get me. <sighs> My controller stopped shaking, by the way, so I think that the sea serpent is gone. Um, that's not great. <laughs> the sky, time to start writing water spouts. You can't trick me. It's just like the rocks just trying to make me run into things that are gonna, they're gonna destroy my boat. Oh God. Uh... Okay. Okay, we have a couple of quests. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's the thing. The timer does stop, but my controller continued to shake. <laughs> Which was very distressing. So I... Oh, God, right. It could still be around. I probably shouldn't undock. Okay, we're just going to rest. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. We won't die. <laughs> UB reads note. Guess I'll die. That's what I'm saying, though. That seemed really ominous. Okay, let's um undock. That was terrifying. I didn't like that at all. Okay. I'm gonna go back this way. 
against my better judgment. <sighs> We're gonna go look for scraps. <laughs> this seems like such a bad idea. Okay. Hold on, I'm looking at my map real quick. Can I go through this? <sighs> this is a bad idea. 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 <sighs> My controller is not happy with me. Okay, I got a bag of doubloons. We're moving. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. <laughs> No oh, god. Okay, I'm gonna grab this real quick. This seems like a good idea to dredge. It's probably not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're living on the edge. Okay, I don't need cloth. I have so much cloth. Okay, we're getting out of here. Okay, okay, everything stopped shaking. Okay. Okay, we made it. We're fine. Probably? Maybe? Maybe we're fine. No, we're not fine. <laughs> we're not fine at all. Every time I go through here, everything starts shaking. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. Okay. I don't even know if we accomplished that much. I was just trying to find scrap and I didn't find anything. It's all these water spouts all the damn time. I'm going to get some fish. I'm going to get some damn money. All right. After this freaky sea monster has chased- Oh no! 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 Look at this horrible fish! A gelatinous stone fish. Here, let me pull it over here so you can see it. Its flesh and scales are intent on shuffling away from a creature struggling to maintain its mortal form. I hate that! <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Can I fish some more? Okay. Uh, look, it's a normal stone fish. <laughs> okay, let's put this up here. Let's get the golden doubloons. We'll, we'll do that there. Um, we'll move the stonefish over here. I'll get some more stonefish. I'm sure those will sell well. Oh god. Okay. Let's make our way back. We're gonna go sell some stuff. Ugh. Fine. Fine, game. Fine. Fine! Against my better judgment, I'll go and interact with- <gasps> No, there's multiple spots that are like this! Oh. oh, I don't like this. This is, like, the exact definition of a bad idea. Right? Like, this is a bad idea? To fish at the glowing place? <laughs> no! A scouring bass. Oh, look at its horrible form! Shapes swirl inside bulging, clouded eyes, blinded by the light of the surface, but perfectly suited to searching the depths. What's it doing here then? Like, what's it doing? Why is it here? Why did I find it on the surface? Oh god. Okay, we're, we're heading. We're heading this way. Oh, why? Why is that glowing like that? That seems bad. Don't mind me. <laughs> We're totally fine. Uh, everything is A-OK. 
okay. Oh god, Gordon, no! It fled, maybe it fled something deeper below. Man, this giant snake creature is just waiting for me. Every day it's like, you're trying to sell fish. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> okay, let's go to the fish market. I love the sound of rain against the roof of my cabin. Is there anything better? <sighs> I don't know, but here, take all this fish. Okay. Do, do you want this? Um, the golden doubloons? No, no, she doesn't want them. I can't sell them. <laughs> okay, let's go put those in storage then, I guess. To the storage. Oh, I can actually just click Y. I don't even need to do this. Okay, that works. Um, yeah, we gained new horrible things in our encyclopedia. Look, look at its freaky eyes. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's terrible. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh god, there's so many horrible things for me to catch. <laughs> No! No! Is there anything better not being offed by a sea monster? See, that's what I'm saying! We, we made it just in time. <laughs> okay, we gotta seriously find some scraps. To be fair, we did pretty good there with, like, running through the... the, um... the narrow passageways. I don't know. I'm a little scared, though. What is what is actually this upgrade I'd be getting? Modify is two cargo spaces to also hold engines. I already have two engines. <sighs> Should I try it? I feel like I know where the eels are. God damn it. Maybe I'll do that near the end of the day tomorrow, because I feel like it's so late right now. I spent so much time in the middle area. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to do, though, is I think I do need to go and buy the, um, let's go, I'm going to buy a research part because I think, I think that's a good idea. Oh, she's actually got two of them now. Okay, let me go grab, we'll buy one of them. Um, and then let's go actually use that. We'll go upgrade this. Perfect. And then I think that I do... Oh, do I have to modify my... Oh, God. I actually do have to do this, don't I? Because otherwise I won't be able to equip this, I don't think. Oh. Oh, no, they're saying I could do that. Hold on, let's see if I can't equip this thing. So let's go shipyard... I've got a surprise for you. A gift for my most loyal customer. Here, I want you to have this. Ooh, I have a book. The Art of the Silver Tongue. We can read that. Okay. Um, yeah, I would like to buy this, please. Thank you. Can I? Oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> okay, we're saving up to buy this thing. That seems fine. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna go to sleep then. That's the only thing we can do. Okay, let's undock. We're gonna go around this side today. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Oh God, there's something out in the water. Let's go get it, I guess. Oh God, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Orcas? Oh. That's cool. H Hi, orcas. You scared away the fish I was looking for, but you're pretty cool. Just gonna hang out with the orcas for a little bit. Orcas are usually terrifying, but like, oh. Oh god, they're gone. Okay. Well, um, they scared away the thing I was looking for, but that's okay. We got to hang out with them for a little bit. That's fine. Uh, let me fish this real quick. See if I can't find some things here. Aw, oh, dang. I missed it. It's okay. Ooh, I got a blackmouth salmon! That's great! Okay. <laughs> it did lead us to safety! Oh, for once, the orcas were actually good, and they weren't terrifying. They weren't... <laughs> they weren't harassing, um... 
you know, uh, seals or like, um, you know, any of the things they usually do. So that's good. Man, this is freaky. This might actually be where I would find the ore fish, though. I should look around in some of these places. Let's go check over here. Because this water is so still. And the water is pretty deep, so... <gasps> There's dolphins! Oh my god. I can't fish those. I'm going to follow the dolphins. Hi, dolphins. You all have been the most um, reassuring things so far. I hope that you know that. I've been kind of terrified recently, but you've, you've been making it better. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead back to land, I think. Oh, look, we've actually got some shipwrecks. We can probably get some stuff over here. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. The orcas probably are the freakiest things. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. We got some stuff over here. Let me go grab it. Oh, I don't actually have the stuff for this. Hold on, let's back up. All right. I probably do need to... Oh, I'm going to save up for that other rod because it will do everything that I want it to do. That's really what I want, right? Okay. I don't really need... Hmm. I'll start dredging anyway. I don't really need uh, jewelry, but... Okay, I got a sing silver trinket. Let's go ahead over here. Oh, I don't need any more wood. I really need scraps. Is this scraps? <gasps> scraps! Exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I just need two of these. Two of these and we're set. Okay. Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. And that's perfect timing. Oh god, it's dark! <gasps> no! We need to head back. Ah! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Look, look, we're almost there. Um... I guess I can fish this really quick. Because because it's telling me that I should. Okay. Start fishing. <laughs> the terror. <laughs> okay. Um, I can probably do a better job organizing this. Hold on. Let's do this. And then I'll move this down here. Okay. Uh. <laughs> a decaying black mouth. A shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish, muscles atrophied and decaying, but still it swims on. I hate that. <laughs> hate that. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, little ship. Little ship. Good little ship. I'm so proud of you. Let's go dock. We're docking. Perfect. <laughs> we made it. Okay. Let's sell the fish. I hate that. Okay. Now we actually got a decent amount from those fish. Um, let's go put uh, some stuff into storage. Just gonna go put that in storage and that in storage and that in storage. Fantastic. So let's go check our floating dock. The next thing that we want is this. Uh, we can actually just unlock that right now. I shouldn't have put those back. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me go get those back again. To the cargo, to the cargo. Okay. Let's go unlock that. Okay. Oh, God damn it. I thought... <sighs> No, I just I just put it back in storage again. I'm sorry. Give me a second. I thought if I hit the same button, it would automatically put it in the thing, but now I actually have to drag them. Okay, give me one moment. <laughs> okay, let's actually go put those there. 
Uh, we'll do this. Okay. Let's purchase that upgrade. Excellent. So now... I've actually got room for more engines. So let's get some tiny little engines. It'll make us a little faster. And this is good. Oh, actually, hold on. I think I see what I need to do. So let's go to my boat really quick. Because I think, if I understand correctly, I think what I can do is I can install it. So one is like this, one is like this, and then one is in the back like that. Okay, let's try that. So let's uninstall like that. Install. Okay, and then let's uninstall this. Install. Oh, God. <laughs> we didn't... We're not sleeping tonight, I think. And then let's go buy another engine. Okay, I'll buy this. And I'll install it right here. Okay, that was a lot of money that we just spent, but we now have a much faster ship. And we also have uh, some more light on the front from what we bought earlier. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think our priority now is let's go... Um, Buy, let's go catch as much fish as we can so that we can save up to buy the really big rod and then we can go and try and find eel. Oh. This has been a rather terrifying little town. I don't know that I like this town. <laughs> I don't like this town at all. We're going to go and try and find some ore fish out here. I'm not sure if we'll have any luck at all, but we'll we'll make our best effort. Seems like it is just salmon that's out here. Okay. We're gonna leave these salmon behind. We're gonna go find something else. Let's go over here. See if we can fish this at all. It might tell us that I need oceanic stuff for it. Nope, we're good. Okay. Oh, this is perch, I think. Hold on, let's go this way. We're trying to find some new fish here. Are you perched too? You're perched too, okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with being perch. That's just not what I'm looking for. Ooh, uh, I think this is some more salmon, but they sold for quite a bit, so. Okay. Perfect. Oh, uh, we're, we're in a relaxing part of the game. That's great. We're just catching fish. There's, there's nothing that's coming after us. Isn't this great? This is so nice. This is fantastic. <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay, let's head back this way, I guess. I know I shouldn't jinx myself. Uh, I'll get some more tiger mackerel. Oh god. Uh, we just caught a bearded mackerel. The wispy tendrils sprouting from its mouth and its flanks continue to writhe long after the fish has stopped flailing. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I dislike that. I don't like that fish whatsoever. I don't like that it's got little freaky tentacles. That's terrible. That's a terrible life for a fish. Okay, we're gonna head back this way. Um, we're gonna go grab this real quick. Game, I swear to God. Are you trying to drag me to my death? This game is trying to drag me to my death. Fine, what's over this way? Yeah, I can't go in there, game. I, you're not running me against the rocks. That's not what's happening. Oh God. It's already dark. Okay, hold on. Capture this fish real quick. 
Okay. Let's go sell stuff. Just gonna go and sell some stuff. Ain't nothing to worry about. <laughs> do you know what's really funny? God, I do feel bad that it's so late for some of you folks. Um, I usually play this game in the evening my time, but it's the morning. <laughs> I realized it would be perfect if I played this game in the morning, because then if I get freaked out, I'm just more awake now, so. <sighs> but you know, we've had some relaxing parts too, so hopefully it's not all just terrifying. Oh god, we need another haul just like that. Okay. I think that, that rod that I want to buy costs 600, doesn't it? Oh god. Okay, we're at 4.30 right now. Uh, let's go rest. Okay, we'll rest until here. Okay. We're gonna undock. I'm actually gonna change what book we're currently reading, because that seems good. Oh god. Uh, let's see. A cabin. Yes. There we go. Let's read that. Okay. That will just be our active book here. Okay, we're gonna go and try and get as as good of fish as we can. So we're gonna go head out to open sea. Oh gosh. I actually don't even see any fish over here. Oh god. Have we already fished everything? Ugh. Okay, here we go. We'll, we'll head back this way. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> My we're gonna die mantra was very calming. You know... Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Maybe not nearly as calming as I was hoping. Oh man, I missed out on the trophy fish. Okay. That's okay, though. Actually, let's let's see that right here. Okay, let's look for some more spots. We're just trying to, you know, cap catch as much fish as we can. Maybe we'll go check on on that one dude to see if he's um ready to make some explosives for us because that would be pretty cool. Let's go. Okay, let's get some more perch. The perch are kind of nice because they can fit in these little spots. Also, hello everyone. Hello for those of you just joining. You, you've um, only missed me freaking out about uh, rocks and freaky snakes. There's an actual sea serpent in this game and it keeps trying to um, be very menacing. <laughs> Which I'm not a big fan of. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let's place that right there. We can do better. We'll move these down here. And then we can actually go... Okay. So we could get one... Like, we could get, like, a tiger mackerel, and I could get another perch, I think. <laughs> Snake-phobic snake lady. Listen! Listen! Listen, this thing was terrifying. It was going to crush me upon the rocks. It was horrible. <laughs> oh no, it wants some Yumi sushi. No! <laughs> no! Oh god. Okay, we got some mackerel. Oh! It's a flayed mackerel. Rended flesh with muscle and bone exposed. This gory mess of a fish can't have lived like this for long. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. Um, let me go get some more. <laughs> Let's go get another perch real quick. I'm sure that'll be fine. Okay. Have we found a corrupt perch yet? I don't think that we have. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, man, some old snakes fed her alcohol when she was a kid. 
Man, Jaeger, let it be known for the record that Jaegermeister is not a thing. That It doesn't do anything if you have a cough. It just tastes really bad. It's a stupid thing. Do not, do not give people or kids Jaeger. <laughs> Thankfully, my brain has turned out just fine because it was only a couple of times, but that's just not a, it's not a great thing to be doing. The, the snakes in the underground were kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't know how this fish continued to keep living, um, even after it doesn't have any, um, like, flesh that's really going on. That's not good. Okay, let's sell all of this. And we're so close, we're at 596! Okay, hold on. We're gonna undock. I want that fishing rod. This is a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm getting that fishing rod, y'all. We're so close. Okay. <laughs> We're scouring fast. That should do it though, right? That should get us there. Oh. Okay, we're heading back this way. Real quick. Okay, we're gonna sell that. And that does it. We have enough. Okay, so let's go now. We're going to go buy that fishing rod. And then I, I think we're prepared to go and look for the eel. Oh, no, I do need more spots. No, that's what I was worried about. Uh, okay, refund. Damn it. I do actually need another another space for that. So do I have to get that upgrade first? Maybe I just need to go hunting for the eels, y'all. Maybe I just need to do it. Oh. Damn it. I thought I was so close. I thought I could do it. <laughs> no! I thought I could actually do it! Uh, okay. I don't think that I have in my storage yet. Now I've got enough of this, but I still don't have enough scrap. Okay, y'all, what should I do? Should I actually get the better fishing rod or should I just should I just try and find some eels? I guess I'm not even sure if I have the right rod for the eels. So I might just have to save up for this, but... Oh man, hognose snakes are super adorable. God, that's true. They are super cute. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <sighs> okay. I guess I can go try to get um, some more scraps. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. We slept for a couple hours. I'm sure that that'll be fine. We're just gonna head up this way to where we found scraps before. See if we can't find some more again. Whee! Okay, this is where we found the scraps before. Um, let's go. Yeah, I think this is what we're looking for. Haha! -ha! All right, perfect. Let's start dredging. Okay, so we'll have to buy this upgrade first. We'll make sure to get some fish while we're out here too. Perfect. You know, we've been doing pretty okay. We've been doing pretty okay. Oh, I got a research part. Man, I didn't even need to buy that one. <laughs> I guess that's fine. We have another research part for upgrading other things, so that's okay. Okay, let's go actually get some fish so that we can sell some stuff. That seems like a good idea. All right, perch. Let's get some of you, so it'll have a bunch of money, because that seems good. <laughs> I'm going to need it if I want to get this good fishing pole. We've actually had a pretty good time the last couple nights. We haven't had anything. We I keep seeing like the spooky thing out on the water, but there hasn't been anything besides that. Okay, we're going to go back this way. Away we go, butta butta. Oh, these waves are picking up. Okay, let's go grab this. Ah, oh, 
It's actually getting relaxing now that I'm not running away from a snake monster. That's great. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Perfect. And we can go get some more. Let's go move some of these around real quick. We'll go just like this. Okay, I'll flip that like that. Okay. We're heading back. Oh god, it's a water spout. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> by day, a normal fishing economy game. By night? <laughs> you know, by night, things become, um, bad. <laughs> things become very bad at night. Okay, so we're going to sell some stuff. I'm going to see if I can't uh, get the upgrades that I need. Um, let's go. Let's sell this. Here's the thing. Y'all already know that I I have a history of having problems with rattlesnakes, too. Rattlesnakes are like, I don't know. I've had a bad experience with rattlesnakes. They've uh, always been trying to, <laughs> to mess things up wherever I have lived, which is not great. Oh, can I even... Abyssal and Hadel? Can I... Can I unlock this? What is this? A harvesting platform. I wonder if I want that. I kind of want to unlock this. Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> Never mind. Let's unlock this first, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go take a look real quick. We're gonna go see if I can actually... Oh, hold on, I need to go into my storage. Let's go pull this out and one of these. Let's go here. Okay. Let's go buy this. Okay. We're doing pretty good, I think. We'll be able to buy this. Uh, this is only 95, which is good. I think we actually should have enough to buy the fishing rod after that, too. <laughs> you know, that's true. Rattlesnakes do just want to scare you, so you're helping them. <laughs> Okay, let's purchase the upgrade. So now, um, after I put this in storage, I think I should actually be able to get that rod that I want. Let me uninstall this real quick. I'll put that in my storage and then let's go try to buy this dang rod. Okay. Can I not flip it? Surely, surely they would let me flip this horizontal. Oh, am I being too ambitious? Am I being too ambitious with this rod? It doesn't seem like it's going to let me flip this horizontal. Ugh. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I was so close. I thought if I could flip this just a different way, but no. <laughs> ridiculous i've been trying to save up for this damn rod and i can't even equip it this is ridiculous <sighs> i guess i'm just gonna have to do this piecemeal then i'm gonna i'm gonna need to have some rods that will let me catch certain things and then others that will do okay i guess that's fine <laughs> i guess that's fine i wanted the super rod though that seemed like such a good idea Okay. Oh god. You know, the fishing rods are two dimensional, so they can only face one direction. That's terrible. God damn. So apparently I can't actually equip that for a while. That's disappointing. I guess maybe what I can do. So I've got like 600 kicking around. Probably what I should do then, if they're not going to let me equip this thing, is I should. I guess go back to my storage. So what is this rod that I currently have? This lets me do coastal and shallow, which is good. Um, what are the other rods that I can get? Because I think I do, if I can't buy that thing right now, then I do have to buy 
this because I don't think any other rods will let me do oceanic stuff and I need oceanic. So this is coastal, I don't need that. This is just the basic fishing rod. Um, Volcanic and shallow, mangrove and coastal. Okay, first things first, let's buy this. I can buy this for 410, which is a lot, <laughs> but that's okay. I can actually equip that right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll finally be able to fish oceanic things. And then I'll go back, I guess, and I'll get the other rod that I needed. So back in storage. Coastal and shallow seems good. I don't think we need to worry about um, volcanic or mangrove right now. So we'll just do this. We'll just install this again. Okay. That's so disappointing. <laughs> I wanted the mega rod. I wanted to be able to wield my ultimate power, but they're like, no, that's too much rod for you. You gotta have a bigger ship first. And you know, somewhat respectable. <laughs> somewhat respectable. Okay, so let's go to my cabin. Yeah, I got encyclopedia. Okay, um, we'll just, man, I guess we'll just rest. And then uh, I'm curious, maybe what I can do is um, rest actually for a little while. Cause what we're gonna try to do is we're trying to go find some uh, eels, right? That's our main goal. So our pursuit is we have to go find uh, conger eels. Terrifying. I guess what I can do is I can go talk to the dude across the way. Let's go do that. I'm gonna go see if he has explosives ready for us. And then we're gonna go eel hunting um, later in the evening. I'm sure that will go fine. <laughs> I'm sure a giant snake isn't going to try and eat me. I've been trying to make all these preparations to make sure that I can do this successfully. And they're like, no, you can't have the fishing rod that you want. It's so tragic. I got all those research pieces. That's okay, that's okay. I'll be able to unlock that later. Um, do you have anything more about explosives that you can tell me? Damn, damn. Okay, nothing beyond that. Okay, I guess we're just gonna undock. I'm gonna go exploring. I'm gonna go make sure that I know what we're doing. We're trying to catch eels between these cliffs, right? Oh God, he keeps telling me to go this way and I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so much. Okay, let's try to catch whatever it is that's here. You know, I can actually go and catch some ocean fish now, too, which is exciting. <gasps> a wreck fish! Oh my god, it's enormous. All right, I don't think I can catch more than that. Okay, that's fine. It wouldn't let me catch more than that anyway. Okay, let's go head back this way. I want to actually catch some stuff on the ocean. Oh god. <laughs> Keeps trying to these water spouts, man, they're out to get me. This is horrible. Okay, we're gonna go head over here. I wanna actually see what ocean fish I can capture, because that's pretty exciting. I can finally do it. Let's go over here. Uh this is still coastal. Is this ocean fish? Ocean fish? Coastal fish. I probably should grab some of the coastal fish. But I'm excited about the ocean fish. I haven't been able to fish for them. Oceanic! Let's go! It's our time! Our time is now! Oh no, this thing is going to be big. Okay, let's give it a shot though. A sturgeon! Fantastic. Oh no, it's too big! It's too big. My greed. <laughs> My greed. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of one of these other big fish. Oh, that's so sad. That's okay. Farewell, wreck fish. I want the sturgeon more than you. All right, let's go. 
<laughs> Let's go put this sturgeon away. Uh, I can put two sturgeon on top if I do it like this. Okay. Perfect. Perfect! Okay. Sturgeon? Fantastic. Okay. Let's go... We'll go sell these. Um, man, those ocean fish are enormous. Absolutely enormous. Yeah, I wish I could pull down the equipment. The issue is that um, I can't put anything... I can't uh, install this anywhere except for where the like little fishing rods are. This game is intentionally screwing with me. <laughs> They're intentionally screwing with me. I can only install equipment in certain areas. Oh, but I guess that's fine. I guess that's okay. All right, let's go. Um, we'll grab a couple of perch since we can put this wherever we want. Okay, and then we're gonna go sell this because we need to get ready to go and do the night eel fishing. Okay. I don't know that I'm prepared for this. <laughs> I'm slightly terrified for how this is gonna go, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, time to sell stuff. I don't think I have caught a tuna before. I'm guessing those are ocean fish. Ooh, that was actually a decent amount of money. Perfect, okay. Let's undock. Let's go prepare to go through the tunnel of doom. <laughs> I'm not ready for the tunnel of doom. <sighs> God, you can see like the debris falling down from these cliffs. I guess as I'm waiting for it to become night, I'm gonna have some more tea. Quick hydration check everyone before we hop into this horrible hor Excuse me, I was gonna say horrible place, but then I, I mix that with horrifying. We're gonna go into this horrifying place. Okay. I actually have to move around for time to pass. <sighs> God, yes, that is so true. Sturgeons are enormous. Absolutely enormous. <laughs> Oh, the Tunnel of Doom! That's my favorite, right? right. <laughs> oh god. Do you think it's late enough? Oh god. Okay, okay. I think it's late enough. Let's go. It's dark. Hello? Are you eels? You're not eels. Are you eels? That's a ray. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate this. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> um. Okay. Well, apparently going that way was the wrong way to go. Damn it, my boat is damaged. Screw you, giant freaky eel. Screw you. It. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Can I- are there no eels around here? I feel like I've been lied to. <laughs> I feel like I've been lied to! This is bullshit! Oh no, look at this! Oh god, I gotta get out of here, y'all. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh god. Oh no, there's eyes in the water. No! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. God damn it. God damn it. I'm not going to be defeated by this. <laughs> this is a bullshit. I didn't even catch any eels. Oh, oh god. <gasps> no! Why did my... Why did my lights go out? Why did my... Why did my lights go out? We're going back! We're going back! Please don't run into any rocks. Please don't run into any rocks. Please don't run into any... <laughs> 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Doc, 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 doc. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Everything's fine now. <laughs> um. Well, that went terribly. We didn't find any damn eels. Okay, new strategy. New strategy. We're going to figure out where the eels are first. We're going to find the eels or figure out where they are during the day. And then we're going to go hunting for them. That's the plan. New plan. <laughs> New plan. Um, okay. Traveling merchant. God damn it. Can you finish my... Oh, no. Look at this. I got... I got... I... There was no way for me to dodge that damn thing. <sighs> yeah, repair all, please. Okay. We're doing okay. Our poor... Our poor dude is not doing good, though. So we're going to rest. Oh, I hated that. I hated that so much. That was terrible. Okay, new strategy. There were no damn eels in that entire damn place. So we're going to go hunt for... No, screw you. Screw you, game. Fine. Fine. <laughs> you know what? We didn't give it to me on the first try, so we're going this way. Okay. We're going to try and figure out... I'm going to go read this again. We're gonna go look at our pursuits. We're trying to find conger eel. Uh, uh, there ought to be a few living at the center of Gale Cliffs. So let me look at this on my map. Oh, are they saying that they're over here? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Oh, game. That's so far for me to go, though. Maybe I'll just make my way over there, and then when it's nighttime, I'll already be there, right? Like, that'll be fine. I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, 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 no, no, not again! Not again! Not again! Not again! No, 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 no! Okay, okay, come on! Faster, little boat! little boat i believe in you little boat come on little boat Ugh. i hate it i hate it oh my god <laughs> didn't even go the right damn way it did give me it did give our god damn it we took damage from that I'm gonna go investigate. I hate this. I hate this gigantic thing. I hate it so much. It's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Once I get going, I can outrun it, but it's it just showed up out of nowhere. <sighs> <sighs> Is this where it wants me to go? No, it still wants me to go around the bottom. This just seems so bad. <laughs> Yumi ain't a sea snake noted. I think this is where it wants me to go. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We gotta go back and, and fix our damn boat. We're gonna go around the outside, though. I'm not doing this whole, like, inside the damn... <laughs> going through there again. That's a terrible idea. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go head back. We're gonna repair our boat since we took damage from that damn thing. Because then if it comes after us again, we'll uh, actually be able to take some damage without worrying about stuff. Man, that thing is horrifying. I hate it. I hate that damn thing. You can't trick me, game. I'm not going back through the tunnels. It ain't happening. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is quite a long way to go around the outside, but I guess that's fine, right? Because that's that's okay. That just means that um, that's our plan for uh, tomorrow is we just make our way around the world. We go and find the eels, maybe? Maybe? Maybe this time we'll find the damn eels? Oh. <sighs> All right, I actually am not gonna take any chances. We're just heading right back to port. I, actually, I could I could get some stuff from this little fishing spot. 
I can't tell if this game is making me more reckless or if this is just me like making, oh God. Was that thunder? Oh. I, let's say it was thunder. I'm sure that there was nothing else that that could have been. Okay. That's good enough for now. Let's go head back. Wait! Wait, 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 why aren't my lights on? How do I turn on my lights? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How do I turn my lights back on? Why are my lights out? No! Okay, we're just gonna make our, our way back right over here real quick. Is there a way for me to turn those back on again? I think that there is. There's an option that I can toggle. Let's let's sell some fish real quick, and then I gotta figure that out while I'm still hanging out here. Let's repair that. At the shipyard. <sighs> okay, so if I undock, hold on. I'm undocking, and then if I... Yeah, here we go. Lights is what I want. There we go. Ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so I might have been able to turn my lights back on. Okay. This is fine. We're gonna rest. <sighs> okay, we're gonna start making our way south. This is our plan. The map says that the eels are probably down at the bottom, so we're gonna go head back down there. We're gonna head around this uh, rock outcrop so that we can actually find stuff. Perfect. We finished this. Uh, what were the bonuses we got for that? 10% increased sell prices and 10% reduced buy prices. That seems good. <sighs> okay, third time's the charm, right? <laughs> We've gone out searching for eels three times, uh, two times prior to this and it hasn't gone well. But now we're gonna go and try and do it again. Power bill paid, lights come back on. Ugh. Okay, if I remember correctly, there is one of these things. Uh, let's have this be active. Haste. Okay, we'll have that be active. I can press X just to go faster. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, that's our way to speed up away from things. I'm going to make sure that the haste will be on. <laughs> I hope that this time will be different. I actually remembered that I have haste, so we'll do that. Uh, we're almost there. Okay. Okay, question. Is this where I need to go? Yep. This looks right. Okay, y'all, we're looking for eel shapes. They'll be all, like, um, spindly. I think that's what we're looking for. Yep, there they are. Let's go get them. Oh, no, wait, this is something else. Oh, God. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! I hate this damn thing so much. Oh, God damn it. Should I get out of here? Is it going to come back for me again? This eel is the bane of my existence. Yep. I need to get out of here, I think. Oh, God. Okay, okay. We're going to try this again. God damn it. Okay, we're doing this quickly. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need to get out of here. Okay. We got the family crest. We're cruising. <laughs> No eels for you, indeed. But you know what? We completed a different quest, so that's fine. I agree. This thing is appearing too often. Man, I was even ready. I had this all ready to go. Okay, we got... You know what? We did get the crest, though, so that's good. How much damage did we take? We took a direct hit from that. I can't believe... Okay, we only took two. Okay. I cannot believe... <laughs> this damn thing. 
Uh, it just... I thought I was safe while I was fishing. I should never have thought that I was safe while I'm fishing. That was a foolish, foolish thing to think. <laughs> oh, I hate that damn thing. <sighs> okay, we're gonna make our way back. Everything's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> the disrespect indeed. But you know what, I got it. I got the family crest. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's fine. I hate how it makes this horrible noise whenever I speed up. Oh, everything keeps shaking still. Where am I? I'm almost there. Okay. Nope. 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 My ship is dashed to pieces. I slip beneath the surface, enjoying the uncountable souls lost in the depths. In the depths. Lost in the deaths, too. This was actually our first death. That's pretty good. Oh, please tell me it's been auto saving, because if not, <laughs> I might need to play a little bit off stream, but it's okay. When was our last save? Okay, it did auto save. We're okay. Okay. Question. Question. Was this yesterday? I think this was yesterday. So we we don't have... Okay, we don't have the family crest yet. Okay, so this was yesterday. We're not that far back. That's good. We don't have the crest. We have to go get it again. We unfortunately have to go get the crest again. <laughs> but I can be more careful this time. I can be more careful this time, right? Right? Yeah, no, I have to go back and get it again. Maybe what I'll do is I'll save right after I get the crest. I think I can do that. Let's undock. Let's double check to see if I can save or will it only save at the beginning of the day? I think it'll only save when I dock. <sighs> okay, let's go change this real quick. Let's get this, let's get haste and we're just gonna go as fast as we can. We're not gonna overheat, okay? We finished the Art of the Silver ton Tongue. We're I can't even speak. The Art of the Silver Tongue. Okay, we're doing this as quickly as possible, y'all. We're gonna go get that family crest. We're coming back. Okay. <laughs> this time she'll get killed in the first four seconds instead of just seven seconds. Okay. God, I hate that. We're avoiding that. It spawned right on top of me. That was horrible. Okay, uh, let's go check the map real quick. How far out am I? I still, I still have a ways to go. Okay, let's go. Not gonna overheat. Okay, I think this is it. Is this the right place? Yep, I can go in this way. We gotta go quick. Oh God, no, this isn't the right way. Okay, sorry, hold on. I'm gonna very carefully navigate out of here. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 we're good. All right. Over this way. Okay, I gotta keep going. God damn it. <laughs> okay, this damn eel is going to try and kick my shit in, which is fine. Okay. I just gotta try and avoid it when it shows up, right? I'm gonna show up right here. It's gonna try and get me. Right? Yep. I'm moving out of the way. Suck it, eel! Oh my god, it's chasing after me. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. <sighs> okay, I think I'm okay. Is it still chasing after me? Yes, I need to go this way. <laughs> uh, maybe this is doomed. Maybe I just need to let it hit me. <sighs> Damn it. I blew out one of my engines. I still took damage even after all that. 
I still took damage. I'm probably gonna die again. This is terrible. Okay. Next time, I'm just gonna let it hit me. I'm probably gonna die again right here. I'm determined, though. <laughs> okay. So, duly noted, I can't Maybe I can successfully dodge. I didn't do a great job last time, but we'll try to dredge this. <sighs> okay. What is the fastest way for me to get back? I guess if I'm just determined that I'm going to die anyway, we're just going to try and make our way back this way. Since I'm probably going to die from this damn thing anyway. I'm moving so slowly. This is so sad. This is so sad. All right. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is trial and error. All right, how far out are we? We're not too far, but I think it's probably gonna get us. I'll see what we can do. We'll try to make our way back. I don't have the most hopes that this run will be good, but... Oh god, our hole is damaged. Great. <sighs> I'm barely floating through the water. Oh my god, this is so sad. Come on, I believe in you, little ship. Oh. Adorable little ship. You did so good. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't exactly work out as we intended. We're just gonna load the last save. <laughs> oh God. All right, we're gonna make one more attempt. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We'll, we'll pivot to something else. <laughs> sea snake too. Yumi zero. This really is my arch nemesis. This is terrible. Oh. Okay, let's undock. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna look over the map real quick. Yeah, because we do have... I wonder... Okay, so we know that that is over there. I wonder if it's possible that the eels are maybe over here. Like, I could search over here for the eels. Let's try that. That seems fine. Man, the sea snack is too OP. I agree. Okay, so since the the place where I thought the eels was wasn't actually where the eels were, let's go... Let's go get this. Okay. Um, let's go... <laughs> we just need one successful heist for the crest. Agreed! Okay. We're gonna go head over this way, see what we can find. Make sure that I don't blow out our engine. Okay. Oh, God. Is there something trying to come for me? I don't like this at all. I'm just going to move down this way. We're going to see what we can find. Since we're probably going to die anyway. Oh, my God. Yep, there it is. That's fine. We're doing fine. We're outrunning it. Look at that. Look at that. We did great. Perfect. Okay. We're doing okay. Maybe. <laughs> We're maybe doing okay. Um, Checking my map. Yeah, I guess we can go... Ooh, something is glowing over there. Hold on. Let me go grab that real quick. Before this damn eel comes for me again. Maybe I can salvage something. Okay. 
<laughs> Maybe I can't get the family crest for now, but we're gonna at least make an attempt to get this. Oh, we got a, a pirate flag? Okay. I don't know if that's actually good or not. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not sure if it, I, at the very end I died to something, like something attacked me. Oh God, everything is shaking. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, let's go. Ooh, another bottle. Sure, let's grab the bottle. I'm sure doing this won't lead me to my doom. Uh, these seem like some good narrow passages. <sighs> Man, these wind spouts. These, excuse me, these. <laughs> These wind spouts, these water spouts are everywhere. Okay, let's at least try to get some fish, if, if nothing else. Make our way up this way. <sighs> it does feel like I need to get that crest, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go back through these tunnels. See if I can't find what I'm looking for. Like there's surely gotta be some eels around here somewhere, right? I know that like, obviously they're gonna show up at night, but. Oh. Okay. Maybe if I go and I dock, it'll save for me. <laughs> We're gonna avoid that water spout. We're gonna go up this way. Okay, let's dock real quick. Hello, dock. Good, it did save, okay. Let's sell that. Um, I wanna put that in storage. Okay. Okay, we just saved, so that's good. Anytime that we dock, we save. Let's go make an attempt for some more eel. I don't know that this attempt is going to be very successful, but we're going to give it our best shot. Oh, it's so horrible and dark. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't think I ever went this way because this was where the thing attacked me. Oh god. Something is that way. I don't want to go that way. Let's go. Hold on. Back in the tunnels. Yeah, I'm about to head out. So let's go this way. That's just debris. Let's go in here. <laughs> oh god. No, these are rays. Oh god. No. No, 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 I don't know how I did that. I accidented my way back here. Um, I don't have any damage. Is this, is this it? Oh God. I have to try and find my way back though. I accidented my way here. Um, let's go back this way. Oh God, no, 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 it's a dead end. Hold on. Very, very, very carefully heading back out this way. Okay, let's go this way. Careful for the water spout. Okay, we're doing okay. It's actually the daytime. <laughs> were the eels right behind me? God damn it, it's okay. We're gonna go, um... Oh no, I'm freaking out. Okay, hold on. Let's try to rest. My, my poor... <laughs> Poor 
sailor is losing it. Okay, what's at the campsite? We stand at the center of a campsite. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out with the wind. We'll leave for now. I'm gonna try and sleep. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, we actually got the family crest though. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, I guess I'm gonna check this campsite. That was unexpected. I didn't expect for us to get the family crest. That was actually pretty good, y'all. That was great. All right, um, right, let's undock real quick. We're gonna go head back just to make absolutely sure. I think that that's saved. Um, but just, just to make 100% sure, we're gonna go back to uh, the original place. Wait, hold on, where am I? Wow, I'm really far south. Okay. Perfect, so there was a place for me to hang out. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, let's go head back up and turn this in. We we've done it. That was so unexpected. I was just looking for the damn eels. Oh. We managed to avoid that damn sea serpent. Okay, this this was a success after all. <laughs> God damn it! I saw some of y'all being like, there were some eels back there, but we I I, I was too worried. That now that we actually got the family crest, I didn't want to chance it. But at least I know I can go and check back down there for some more damn eels. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Um, we're gonna go turn in this family crest. This is perfect. Let's go interact with this real quick. Fantastic. We did it. We did it. We actually got the family crest. Let's go talk with him. Let's complete this. Let's go. Okay. This is incredible. Okay, we don't want to blow out our engines, but we're doing okay. Let's go. Let's go turn this in. Oh, I'm so glad that we were able to get the crest. That's perfect. Hello, hermit. Ah. Uh, hello again. What can I do for you? Listen, man, I went through hell and back to get this for you, but is this your family crest? You found it. I never thought I'd see this beauty again. Yeah, well, I had to die several times from a sea snake to get it for you, so... <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that you appreciate it. Uh, but now I, I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfell? Tell him... Tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. You got it, man. I'm gonna undock. We're gonna go back up there. Just gonna cruise right back on up to there. Alrighty. We're gonna dock. And then hello there, retired whaler. What is it? I believe this crest is yours. God. I, I haven't seen this since. Oh, so he did take it. I knew it. Listen, I, I don't know if you'll trust me on this, but your brother is really sorry. Will you let him come home to live with you again? Mm, I don't know if I was in the right state when he left. Okay. Fine, I can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being, but I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. And I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? Yeah, could you tell me again where those explosives were? 
Head through the rock arch to the southeast. Follow the channel and you'll see the yellow flags on the right. Anything else? Nope. That is perfect. Perfect for me. Oh my god, it's already been three hours. <laughs> I want to play more, but I have some errands that I have to go run on. God! Hey, y'all, we're going to play some more of this. Um, apparently, I know now that if I die, it's okay. I just need to find a rest spot and I can save there. <laughs> Time for revenge. God, this is true. Time to go and blow this thing up. Oh... I'm trying to think if I have enough time. I don't think I do. I think I... <laughs> I probably only have like 20 minutes and I, I don't want to risk like only getting halfway through this only to have to take off here. So I think I'll probably call it for now and we can come back and, and take revenge against the sea serpent at that point. <laughs> It'll be our revenge arc. Oh my god. Yo, this has been great. I'm sorry that you had to see me... Um, succumb to the horrible uh, sea monster several times, but we learned some things. <laughs> that ended up working out pretty well. Also, I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to timestamp the last stream yet, but my plan is uh, I have some uh, errands that I have to run today, and then my hope is to timestamp our Star Rail stream and this stream when I have a chance. So, yeah. <laughs> nice run, except for the deaths. It was, you know what? It was all part of the experience. I hadn't died yet, so. <laughs> oh my god, man in the moon, that's so true. When we return next time, it'll, it'll at long last, see the result of the ultimate snack rivalry. <laughs> when we come back, we'll be the ones with sharper teeth. <laughs> oh god, it's true. God, I do need to go and get some unagi just to like either get myself prepped or just to um, show this large sea snack who's boss. <laughs> That's true. It wouldn't be a Lovecraft game without a little bit of insanity and sea monsters eating people. <laughs> oh my word. I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day. This was really fun hanging out with you folks and just, I don't know, hanging out having a good time, catching some fish, dying a couple of times to some sea monsters. <laughs> it was very good. But yeah, um, I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Look out for our new schedule. Um, just as a heads up for the members, I had posted our monthly schedule last week. I actually am going to have some pretty substantial changes to that. So uh, I'll post an updated schedule, but some things that I thought I would need to wait until April to do, I'm actually finishing a lot faster than I thought. So I will have a couple of fun things coming up this month. Um, as well as fun things next month, too. So, yeah. And no worries. For those of you who aren't members, it, it's fine. It's just it's just a sneak peek at what's coming up next. You all will get to experience it very soon. <laughs> so no worries. No worries at all. Um, I just wanted to give you folks a heads up that if you see another monthly schedule drop, uh, it's not that I've lost my mind. Um, it's that I'm, I'm making some changes to when things are releasing. So, yeah. It's going to be good, y'all. But yeah, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Please be well. And I will see you folks in a couple of days here when we do some more streams. <laughs> Ooh, this is really fun, folks. Next time, it'll be, it'll be time for our revenge <laughs> against the sea serpents. Enjoy the rest of your day, folks. I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!